we're talking uh, this afternoon to Mr. David Brand, and he is a filmmaker. Uh, should also be a model. Have you considered modeling? <laughs> <laughs> Give it again. A model. Have you considered being a model? Um, no, not at all. You know why? Why? I am. I am five seven. So there's not much of a career for me in that. I have really short legs and a long torso, and it just doesn't really work out for me. So, no, I have not been to be a model. Okay, so maybe we can put you in a couple of print ads, and we won't know. Maybe. You know what? It's funny about about my body also is my neck is long. So people think that I'm tall um, to pictures. The certain pictures, but they meet me and they're like, oh, you're so short. And I'm like, yeah, you have a long hair. So, that's my life. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, were you born and raised in uh, New York? Uh, yeah, I'm from White Plains, New York, originally, which is about 20 minutes north of New York City. Uh, so, I grew up there. Um, and then moved uh, to the city a little bit later after high school. And yeah, I've been in and out ever since. And uh, did you also attend, um, attend filmmaking school? Uh, no, no, I, I didn't even think about filmmaking back then. Um, when I originally went to college, I went for uh, music education uh, because I loved uh, music and I wanted to study that. Uh, so I studied that for a little while, um, didn't finish, uh, then went back and studied creative writing. I uh, didn't finish again, so I figured <laughs> maybe I'd go back to Um And I just started kind of just doing it uh, instead of learning. I just kind of jumped into the field. Okay. And so you're a musician as well. Do you play an instrument? Yeah, um, not right now. Like, I'm, I'm out of practice, but I grew up playing, um, I originally grew up playing drums, classical, like, snare drum and, like, classical bands. Um, moved on to playing an instrument called the E-flat horn, which looks like a baritone. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it's like a tuba that's really, really small. It's like a small tuba. Um, so I can play that and trumpet and cornet and a couple of other instruments. I played a little piano, a very little guitar, and um, I used to sing as well. So I, I love music. Music is my first passion. That's the first art that I ever wanted to try in a career. Don't you actually sing, too? Oh, my God. You had to sing too for me right now. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> I... I used to sing. I'm, I'm very shy when it comes to singing, so I will not be singing for you on this <laughs> But I will send you an old video. How about that? Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, you I'll, I'll send that to you. With, I'll share with everybody on Twitter, Facebook. Oh, um, great. My, 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 uh, my baby mom's dog will show everybody. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You know what? I'm, I'm not mad at you. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your uh, career. I'm, I'm looking at your resume, and I see that you have a uh, career in a couple of the medium theater, theater and, and film. Talk mm-hmm. about your uh, uh, theater background. Sure. Uh, well, when I first, the reason I got into acting is I got into it kind of late. I always did plays and things in high school and growing up, but I never considered really being an actor. I always wanted to be a musician. I, wanted to, I always wanted to be a singer. And when I when I quit my full-time job the first time, um, I immediately went into trying to be a full-time singer. And doing that, it was hard because I really didn't have a community of people to sing with. Uh, so in order to find that, I joined this musical theater group. And through that, I learned how to act. And through that, I learned that I loved acting as a career more than I did singing as a career. So that's where my theater experience started. Started doing uh, musical theater. Um, I did a uh, uh, whiz and a couple of other plays um, involved music and theater. And that kind of just led me into the path of just doing straight theater, which I really, really uh, learned to enjoy. Okay. 
it looks like you have the three areas covered in terms of uh, being able to sing, act, and dance. Yeah, I'm a, I can dance a little bit. <laughs> That's probably my weakest point. But um, I can do that. I can do I'm more if it, Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's just okay. I was, I was going to say, if anything, um, I grew up doing a lot of step, so it's kind of the things I'm more so versed in, but um, anything else I can just, yeah, I can just get by. But you know what? There are people like you that make that There's this lady I talked to, and she said, oh, I can't sing, I can't sing. I said, sure you can. I said, sing something for me. And she blew me out of the fucking water. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I had this dog say to me, oh, I can fucking dance just a little bit. (laughs) It's true. I don't know. I, I guess. I'm confident where I know that I'm, I'm confident at. And certain places, I'm just, I don't want to boast too bad because I know there's a person out there that is, a, is really a dancer, and I'm just not that person, you know what I mean? So I, don't, I wouldn't want to put myself on a level that I'm just not at, you know? Okay. Okay. You know, and as I'm uh, having this conversation with you, you remind me of your character, Noah. Noah. Not Noah. 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 Uh-huh. In the uh, web series, uh, No Shame. Mm-hmm. Are you Noel? <laughs> Noel. Um, there, there are pieces of Noel in me. I, mean, I, I am Noel. I, I created Noel through me, so really any character that you create uh, when you're acting, you have to be somewhat a part of that character because you have to draw from your own experiences, your own life, your own brain in order to create it, just so that person is you. But I am not Noel. It's a, it's a piece of me. It's a part of me. It's a um, it's something that came out of me. Uh, but I'm not fully him. He's very, he's shy, he's timid. He can be at times, but I'm, I'm a lot louder than Noel <laughs> in real life. Um, he is He's more so uh, learning new things, things that I've learned years ago. And um, yeah, so I, I would say that I kind of him, but not fully. How did you become involved in uh, the web series, No Shame? Uh, I knew Sean Anthony, who's the director for forever. I knew Sean when I first got on to the gay scene. Um, like in 2001, 2002, I've known him for a really long time, and we always, we always had this connection. Um, and I know he did film, and he knew I acted, and he always told me that he wanted to do something with me, and I was always ready to do it. And eventually, he brought this idea to me. Him and um, Terry Toro, who's his boyfriend, and also Grace Eric on the show, they came to me. They presented me, to me the idea. Um, they introduced me to Donnie Do Right and all his greatness. And um, we began there. I knew Tamara um, from the ballroom scene because I'm also I was also very heavily involved in the ballroom scene growing up. And um, I knew her, and I knew she would make the perfect star as well for us. And brought her on, and that's how I kind of got started. See ya. Uh, looking at some of the other uh, things that you have done, you've got a, another web series called Around My Neck. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah, that it only lasted an episode. It really didn't go anywhere. Um, that resume is old. Yeah, I need to update it. <laughs> but, but yeah, that I've I've been trying to do a web series for years, for so long, I've been trying to get on a web series. I've been try I tried to start my own web series at one point, um, years ago, and I was just so inexperienced. It didn't really work out, and um. Yeah, I, I, I've just always tried to be on them. So around my neck was one that we tried to be on. Um, we just didn't go, we didn't go where we wanted it to go. Just the money wasn't there, uh, so we couldn't really do it. Um, I was on this other web series called Group, which was really, really a great experience. I only did like three or four episodes of that, um, but that was a really good one too. So I'm blessed to have no shade because it's, it's my dream come true. I'm finally on the web series of my dream, so I'm happy. Okay, and. I look at your website, and there's mention of a series called Let's Get Met. I believe it's 
what was that web series called? Oh, Mint. <laughs> yes, Mint TV. Yes, so so Mint TV. It's, it's so funny because I, I know I texted you that things were changing with that. Um, Mint TV. It was a project I started on my own. I wanted my own platform. I wanted to showcase some, some of my own ideas, and I had a couple of web series in mind that I wanted to produce. So I did start doing that, and um, things started rolling. Uh, the ball started rolling until <laughs> I had a conversation with Sean about a few things in our future and us working together. And um, this is the first time I'm saying this publicly. Uh, I'm excited to see that we decided that I would be a full partner in Blunted News, and I was going to work with him and kind of produce my projects through that company. So I'm going to take the TV down. And I'm basically, basically combining both concepts, both in these and Mint TV, and creating a new Blink TV news, um, which will be doing new shows, new web series, new features very shortly. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm happy that Sean and I came to that conclusion because I needed the help. <laughs> I really needed the help. So I'm happy that we can help each other now. Okay. Okay. What do you like the least? About your character. Um, like if I was like if he was my friend. <laughs> okay, so let's go there. If he was your um, friend. Uh, he's he's so afraid of everything, and it, I think it comes from you know it comes from insecurities in him. It comes from his past and the things that he's had to deal with. I guess with his family with his mother, with his father not being there. Uh, all those things play a role in him, and it makes him very, I don't know if he's as much shy as he, has a, as he is afraid. So he, he's just very afraid of things. He's afraid to try new things. He's, he's just scared. And I'm just not that way. And I don't, I don't like to be around people that are scared of things because I just like to do stuff. Um, so I think that's what I'm like least about him, although I know that it's not necessarily his fault that he's so afraid of something. What is the one thing? What What do you have in common with him? Um, right, we're both artistic, very artsy. Um, pretty quiet at times. I'm more so a homebody. I have very limited amount of friends. Um, I don't go out too much. Uh, so he seems to be that type. Um, and we're both very curious. That's one thing. He may be afraid, but he's he's curious. He wants to know things, and he's he wants to silently explore things. So I say that we had that in common. Okay. Uh, the character Noel. This is talking about him a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. There is an episode of uh, No Shade where his mother sends mm -hmm. him to a place for an official to uh, cast out the gay spirit. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that when you first um, were told this is where this, this when you read the script? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I wrote it, so I liked it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was one of, one of the scenes that I was able to, the only thing was the concept that Sean let me write. Um, a lot of that scene, and um, I, I liked it because I, number one, I thought it was funny, and number two, I know it's something that really happens. Which is people really do try to cast out demons and beings from their children or from their friends or whatever, and they just don't understand where it's really coming from. So I thought it was something funny to laugh at, but also to make you think about. And um, yeah. So what is your relationship like with your own family in terms of being out, or is that net? It's different. Um, it's great. They they love me. I, they've never they've never been mean to me. They've always supported me. I'm I'm very lucky to have a mother and a father that support me fully um, in the pictures and and the way care about my sexuality and just want to make sure that I'm happy. What else can you tell me um, that's coming up with No Shade? Um, and I am deliberately asking you to uh, spoil something for me. To do what? 
Uh, to, to to give us a spoiler. I oh, a spoiler! spoiler. <laughs> I, I, I would love to spoil it. I want you to make Sean mad at me. <laughs> no, I know you wouldn't. <laughs> but um, honestly, like I said, I we don't know. All all we really know is that it's gonna get darker. It's gonna still be comedic, but there will be a lot of darker elements to it. A lot more drama to it, as you kind of saw in the last episode. We're going to continue with that trend. Um, I'll see this where you don't do anything unless you raise some money. So if <laughs> people are paying you, hopefully they donate, and um, then we can really give you guys something that is of even more quality than last time. And uh, that's what we want to do. We want to go to the next level with this. So that's the least <laughs> spoiler I could say is uh, donate. <laughs> Okay, so is that through uh, Kickstarter or GoFundMe or Indiegogo? Uh, last time we did Indiegogo, we did two Indiegogo campaigns, didn't raise too much. So I'm not sure which uh, medium we're going to go through this time, but um, we'll know probably in the next week and a half. Like I said, I'm going to call Sean and meet with him after I speak with you, and we'll start the process because we're, we're ready to jump into season two. That's, that's one thing. We're excited. We basically have, have had only two weeks off from doing No Shade, and we're bored, and we're ready to jump back in. So, coming soon. Coming soon. Okay. What else would you like to tell me to make sure that uh, I include in this story? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, I would say. Um, we we had the privilege of uh, flying to Dallas a couple of weeks ago. That was a really big really nice experience. Um, so uh, as a team, we would love to do more pride events. We would love to host more events. Uh, last weekend, Tamara and I, Tamara played Danielle on the show. We hosted um, a movie premiere, a movie screen, screening of The Happy Sad, which is a movie by Rodney Evans. Uh, we hosted that. And um, you know him from Brother to Brother and um, some other movies. And we hosted that, and that was a really, really great experience. So we want to do more things like that. We want to keep getting out there and uh, meeting people and uh, you know, doing things. So call us. <laughs> I'll see that. And what, yeah. would you, what is your ultimate goal uh, professionally? Professionally, I want to solidify. I want to, I want to write a really good – I want to be head writer on a really good um, television show that I – we probably have the also the concept for. Um, I want to act uh, on television and do a couple of movies that I've written, and I want to produce. I mainly want to produce my own content. That's that's my goal: is to make money producing my own content, make money producing things that come from me um, and that are kind of for everyone, but. Utilize my community, the people that I grew up with, and the talent that I know that needs to be seen. So that's what I want to do. Okay. Well, 